For the second time in a month, Tacoma is seeing an unexpected shakeup when it comes to its police department. Tacoma Police Deputy Chief Paul Younger is now on paid leave. Yeah, and our viewers have likely heard that name because Younger was the person who took on the role of chief while Chief Moore was placed on paid leave himself just last month. Now Younger finds himself in a similar spot. Fox 13's AJ Janivel has the latest. For two days now, Deputy Chief Paul Younger has been MIA. Officials with the department tell me he's on paid administrative leave due to a, quote, allegation made against him. Police officials wouldn't say what Younger is accused of, but did tell me it's not criminal. And the allegations came from a city employee. Police officials also told me the decision to put Younger on leave came from Chief Avery Moore, who, less than a month ago, was on paid leave himself. The chief's surprising and controversial absence lasted about a week. Tacoma City Manager Elizabeth Pauley said she made the decision to place Moore on leave due to a misuse of taxpayer dollars, saying Moore utilized city assets for personal use. But at the time, Pauley did not explain further what that meant. On Friday, I got more information providing possible insight into the matter. From a public disclosure request I made weeks ago, I learned Moore used his department-issued cell phone as GPS on a vacation out of the country. In an email I obtained, it shows Moore racked up hundreds in bills quickly, causing the cell provider to cut service to his police department-issued phone. In a statement from several weeks ago, Moore addressed his absence, saying he accepts his discipline. He's been back to full duty since the start of the month. Both Moore and Younger started work at Tacoma Police in 2022. Moore in January, Younger in May. They both worked together in Dallas before coming to Tacoma Police. Reporting in Tacoma, AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News. And we're told there is no timeline for how long Deputy Chief Younger will be on paid leave. The police department declined any on-camera interviews today.